Today we are looking at the 45 watt hybrid soldering station which can use your Ryobi battery or you can plug it in to an outlet. If you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscription and the bell to keep you alerted of any future videos. So let's take a look. In the base unit we have the basin, the tip storage, and the temperature controller. And as you can tell the soldering head is not removable as the cord is permanently attached. From the base unit you can see the temperature range. And the temperature range is 400 Fahrenheit, 204 Celsius, all the way up to 900 Fahrenheit, 482 Celsius. And it is fully controllable. As we look around the base unit, you can tell that the cord is permanently attached as there is no plug. So let's take a look at the iron section. The iron section is the same thing. It has a permanently attached cord. As we turn the unit around, you can see that it has two power ports. The first power port is for an extension cord, which fits inside for 110 and the other plug is for your battery. Some optional accessories come with the unit, such as some solder that it comes with. It comes with an extra head, which is a chisel point and a sponge. A holder comes with the unit so you can put the soldering iron inside to avoid any burns and to also make it easier when you're using it as a workspace. To install it is very simple. There is a hole on the bottom and you insert the holder into the hole and rotate it and it snaps in. So to remove it, you turn it the other way, put it in the hole and turn it. So the unit becomes very portable. This is the battery I'm using for the unit. It is a six amp hour battery and I do get a lot of soldering time on this battery. As you will see, it has a battery save mode. To install the battery, you just insert it in the back in its slot and it snaps right in and you're ready to begin soldering. When you first push the button to start the unit, it glows red for a moment and then goes green, which means you are ready to solder. So let's see what it looks like when you start soldering. You push the button down. It does glow red for a moment, then green. Now you adjust the temperature. So I'm setting it for the middle setting. And let's see how long it takes to get to that setting. And there we go. It goes pretty fast. So it went from 400 to that setting. And let's take a look at how it solders. So you, as you can see on the side, it is soldering a part. As you notice, the light is still green, which means it is at temperature and not using the battery as much during the soldering. When the battery is used, it turns red. As you can tell, it is still green. So like I said, you can get a lot of soldering time on this unit. So this is what happens when you push the button in, you click it. It will flash red, which means it is on standby and also saving your battery. There is no battery power being used at all. It is waiting for your next project or just sitting on standby. So there is definitely not a waste of battery power. This will show you the approximate startup time it takes for the red light to turn green. The infrared thermometer did not function properly due to the soldering iron's reflective coating. If you liked our video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as I will be demoing 
a lot of different products and a lot of interesting technology that's out there. Remember, keep on learning.